first and get back to you the assembly then Okay, welcome back to the assembly. I've unboxed all the various pieces and they're 
actually quite a lot of pieces and the base is really big and there are a lot of other large pieces that come with the base and now no wonder that this statue is actually that heavy and I can see also that this is not going to be some small statue this is going to be actually some huge piece so okay uh, on the base already you can see a lot of details and this kind of serpents uh, crawling all around and okay we've we have it here and I believe according to the assembly guide first piece would be this one large piece I have put right here this I think this is the larger piece of the base and that I believe should go right here on the left side next to this kind of roof piece that's going up it comes with one huge peg and the key that should fit in right here and it does with no problems beautiful and you can see all these kind of serpents it has the joke comes with this kind of serpent design that kind of continues all around the base you have here on the back of the heads and the kind of body designs so next should be i believe the kind of smaller piece of the base that also has this huge peg here in the bottom and that should go here right next to the other one and it fits in with no pieces no issues either and beautiful and this is already getting becoming some huge 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 piece okay and next I believe should be the these head pieces of the I mean of the base and these uh, we have two of those I'm just not quite sure which one goes where and I believe this there's one is a bit larger than the other one I believe the larger one should go to the larger base piece and fits in with a huge magnet and fits in beautifully the other one it's kind of a smaller part that fits in also with another magnet and both fit in beautifully okay so next should be the main body of the joker which where i mean the joker is actually really big i mean it's kind of a really big piece and that fits in with another peg that fits in right here in the front and Paying attention to where it should fit in, how it should fit in. And it goes in with no issues either and beautiful. And it fits in right here and wow this is some hell of a piece guys. Whoa. Okay. Wow, this Joker is actually much bigger. Than, I, I I was expecting a large Joker, but this is actually even larger than I expected, guys. Okay, so I believe the first part would be uh, I believe the head. I mean, this since this is the B version that you get when you order the. When you order the twin set, um, it comes with two extra head sculpts, and we have that one. So let's start with um, maybe the uh, the I mean the regular part with comes this is actually a huge head I mean portrait that fits in right here in the top with a magnet. fits in beautifully and we have him like kind of sticking out his tongue 
and you have here kind of the right arm that fits in with a pretty large base I mean I mean peg that kind of you just stick in and for that one you need the right arm I mean right hand with the smaller this katana sword and that also has a peg and which just fits into the hand which depicts Joker kind of just licking the just kind of the edge of the blade and the right I mean the left hand has the I mean the left arm has his hand also that goes in with a magnet this time I mean here it just shows how the Joker is resting his left arm on the head of the serpent and looks really nice actually. So next I believe would be this extra piece of <coughs> Whoa, sorry guys. Whoa. Just shows how I mean it's just this extra part of the headpiece for this uh, particular uh, portrait that just fits in with a peg right in the middle of his forehead has some very fine peg and just fits in like that beautiful okay we're done with the first version of the Joker and uh, Orochi and I can only say wow I'm really impressed and wow I, I'm really blown away I mean some guy told me on the internet you're gonna love him and I can only say wow you're just definitely right and I do love him and he's looks really amazing and this is only the first version and it looks phenomenal I mean all the details and design on the body let's just I mean switch him out I mean we still have two more options to display him and th this statue comes with quite a lot of switch outs and let's just do the second possible switch out uh, and let's try that and take out this first version and I mean, let's start with the head maybe and that goes over the magnet let's just put this aside and the peg of this katana sword <coughs> and Put this off and first part would would be this other left arm I mean right arm where it goes goes down and fits in with a peg and um, depending on I mean the way they show it to you is uh, I mean for the I would say maybe more regular kind of uh, Joker look, the one with his hair kind of combed backwards and him smile with a big grin or smile that kind of just fits in here with a magnet and maybe with comes with this huge katana sword and for the right with the right arm that just fits in with a magnet down here I'm not a magnet but a huge peg and you just fit that in and this blade I'm not quite sure if you can see it but it really reaches uh, reaches quite far out backwards and wall and this looks phenomenal and <laughs> wow guys I can actually really like this look too and this is um, I would say more regular or classical Joker look maybe and well I'll just take a few moments to look at the statue more in detail and get back to you to the review okay welcome back 
and as I said, I've have had, I've had some time to look at this statue, and all I can say is, wow, I'm really impressed and really happy. I finally have this piece, and I have him here unboxed, and I mean, I'm surprised XM actually waited so long to um, bring out their Joker for their Samurai line. I mean, I expected this would have been or should have been one of the first villains I mean they should have brought out when they started with ex I mean with their Batman Samurai line and finally he's here and wow I'm really impressed um, starting with the base I mean this is uh, I mean this is typical XM and uh, this is something this is why I love XM Studios because uh, they have these huge bases and take up a lot of space and they're really intimidating with a lot of detail and that, as I said like that's why I love XM Studios when you see this piece I mean you know immediately that it's that it's an XM Studios statue because you have this huge uh, d bases filled with so much detail and they tell a story and um, that's why I was always sad when XM started making these other statues that are so much smaller and with, with hardly any with hardly any bases, just like Cyclops and uh, or Mystique from their X Men line. And but here again, I'm happy they started with this huge base. And for me, that's why I love statue collecting and. They just tell the story and XM Studios thumbs up. I mean, you did it again. I'm extremely happy with this statue and wow. And I mean, the concept is, I mean, uh, 10 out of 10 for sure. When you see the statue, you know immediately it's the Joker. You don't have to look twice. And they definitely managed to bring out this uh, samurai, I mean, Japanese style here. On the base you have these serpents just uh, swirling around the Japanese building that's been broken down. You have these roofs here on the bottom and parts of the pillars on top here. Looks like the serpents have been like curling, these huge serpents have been just curling around and broke this building down to pieces and at the bottom you have this more uh, stone base on the ground and look I don't know if these are supposed to be probably there are more just parts of the building and it looks almost like the Joker is telling them what to do and just and they're following his rules and his orders and beautiful and all made out of they have like this stone design and all kind of weared off of this aging and weathering and looks beautiful and you have these almost like I mean you have these scale designs going around them and beautiful look and coming to Joker himself I mean beautiful I mean they did a great job with bringing Joker into this samurai traditional Japanese look with this a kind of um, samurai armor design and in the typical Joker colors this purple green look and I mean when you look at Joker's body you have this uh, you have these tattoos more like I don't know kind of tribal designs with this with these I don't know if you can see them you have these kind of um, devil and skull looks uh, with this um, touch of the Joker with the red lipstick on it and those look great and these body tattoos go all over his body and you can see them on his arms and they look really great and on the bottom you have on his legs you have these damages from I mean from the fights you have these scars from all some kind all other from other blades and the detail on this I mean the level of detail on this statue is really great you have all this I mean the uh, the textures on the armors they have different level of textures on each 
parts of his body, I mean his armor, and even the texture on his uh, socks, and you're, there are a lot of different textures, and his, and his shoes, and wow, beautiful job. And his, I mean, his more his jacket, and wow, like all these different uh, stitches, beautiful look. And also his blade, this katana sword, beautiful look, and all the different uh, damages from blades on the edges of his jacket or armor, beautiful, beautifully done, and. And even like some parts of the back piece of the, I mean, these, when I talk about texture, I mean some parts of, I mean, he has some kind of cape here on the back of his armor, like it's, you have all these red kind of holes, almost as if bullets went flying through it or because like some of the edges there look, they look as if they're burnt and, and even the edge of the cape on some parts they're like darker and as if they're burnt and I'm not sure if I don't know, I don't know bullets or grenades or whatever went flying through the cape but whatever it is the texture looks amazing and it's done really nicely and I think XM and also the texture of the cape is more like a rough texture it has been done very well for by XM Studios and wow very well done and on the knees like this leg armor you have like this um, the skull and beautiful look extra nice very nice finish and extra thing and the mouth like start with this head I mean the I mean this particular head looks great I mean we've already looked at the other one and I believe you could actually just uh, use um, this head with the other one I mean, I mean this head here let's just put him look at the detail I mean the texture in, the look on his mouth is beautifully done you have this glossy finish with his saliva inside his mouth and the grin and his eyes just beautiful look and beautifully done and there's no spillovers of the paint job the paint job is wow it's just for me that's very nicely done and I mean this statue has when it comes to finishing I mean there are pretty much no seam lines whatsoever on the statue I mean XM's done a phenomenal job with that on this statue um, neither on his on his neck or even on the on the hand or his arm on the right side seam lines are I'm mean, pretty much not present at all even when you when you fit in the head i mean the head of the base here into the, of the serpent into the body like there you don't see the seam lines there they're totally hidden and xm phenomenal job there wow i'm very happy with that here and with this look of the statue i'm this is actually a really nice piece. I mean, I mean, nice version with the huge katana blade on his right arm. You could also use the other look. I mean, with the with the Japanese head. Uh, I mean, with the with the head. You could also technically piece uh, display it this way with the armor and the head and both mouth looks uh, versions look great. Here you have him kind of sticking out his mouth as I showed him before where it's supposed to look like him licking the edge of the blade but it looks great this way too. I mean it's I think up to everyone him or herself to decide how you they want to display it and I mean this is the version they used to they used for the art print and looks great and this is actually a really huge head skull with the hair just f flowing back in the wind backwards and it's a really as I said it's a really huge one and 
takes up a lot of space too. So, I mean, here we have the the other one I just had before. As I said, this one is more like the I would say a traditional Joker look. I think using this one with this body, I think gives some kind of uh, how should I say some kind of. I don't know, some kind of balance. You have more uh, regular look with all this traditional, uh, with this traditional body Japanese samurai line, and here you have just the, I would say, full samurai mode. And if that's what you want, it looks great too. I think both look would look great. And we have another third version where we have. Oh yeah, before we start, let's just bring back the other kind of regular Joker look, which actually what you get a second arm with, or second hand, where you get this hand with the small axe or sickle, and which also goes in with another hand. Where And for this one, you get this small... I don't know whether it's, it's supposed to be some kind of bomb with this made out of um, some, some kind of hand grenade or so what it's supposed to look and this piece here is kind of supposed to uh, kind of um, hold over his hold into his hand and it's supposed to hang over his fingers and not quite sure how it's supposed to fit in and and it's supposed to look like that I believe and also nice option which takes up less space I believe and looks great another beautiful option and talking about um, head skulls, we can switch out this head skull with the third option. We have another more Japanese look uh, with this mask of some kind of devil, devil mask with a lot of detail on it again. And for this particular head, head piece, you have this other can you have this other knot of that's holding the mask that you just have to fit in the back of his head and then just put the mask in and also a very nice option and beautiful look um, I'm, I'll be honest particular I mean for myself I don't think I would ever be, ever be using this uh, look um, it's a nice option but I'm not too crazy about that to be honest and um, Look, I mean, the designs on this look on of the mask are very nice. They have a lot of detail, very well done. I'm very much happy with it. But um, I'll be honest, for me, that's I want to have a more Joker kind of look here. You just have some kind of devil with those golden horns and these golden teeth looking out on the sides, but. This, I don't know, just kind of reaches out too far away from the Joker look and I be, don't think I'll ever be using this. And for this head sculpt, you get another switch out option. <coughs> you get this one hand with this crowbar that's, that, he, that has blood on the edges and he looks like he's just used it to kill someone and and I mean the look of the blood on the edges is really phenomenal it has these kind of glossy look looks beautiful and really nice option and what I really love about this statue is that no matter what option or switch out option you use somehow they don't interfere with the head sculpts it's not like you can't fit it in because it doesn't fit in with the other 
with the other head you could as I said you could just use the other I mean, the other heads and um, they would they will fit in and it's up to everyone himself technically you have quite a lot of switch out options and looks depending on how much space you have and wow very nice uh, very nice look and um, very much happy with this statue and this a statue also comes with another extra it's a, it's a plaque and I'm very happy to have another plaque in my collection from XM Studios and I also had one for my Shugo Batman and that one also looked really nice and I could also and I used it next to him as I displayed him in in my Moji case displays and here we have this really nice look of the plaque not sure if you can see it beautiful look and <coughs> and very happy with it and just I could just put it in put it right here and I'll just put this away again and into the packaging and I'll just put it aside for now and wow and let's talk about the size I think this this arm kind of is the one that reaches out well, most but uh, it still is not gonna go further than the base so it's I think the tallest possible option is the one we used first with the traditional full samurai mode look with, <coughs> with the full armor and thing it's talking about the size the tallest possible option is I think 63 and a half to 64 centimeters tall and wide in in this version would be I mean just from edge to edge of the of the one serpent and the other bottom part the serpent wall I mean it's quite difficult to figure out from where to where it should fit in and and this is actually a pretty wide statue and I think it's about uh, let's say 50 about 53 centimeters wide and in depth I believe would be the front part right here front part of the base all the way to the back uh, maybe with the sword with this long blade it might go backwards further I'm not quite sure let's just see if it does <coughs> does it? Uh, it's I mean very close it's hard to say maybe a little bit I mean it's almost maybe it goes back a little bit further I mean the furthest possible uh, way goes back as I think as I said the front part here of the base <coughs> all the way to to maybe with the blade to where the to where the blade is which is like 40, 45 to 43 centimeters and wow this is I mean it's not the largest statue I, I've had but it is quite big and I mean very intimidating and very impressive when you see it first it, this statue is definitely an eye catcher for me and a statue from XM I haven't seen for a long time since 
XM's kind of gone for smaller base statues and um, it's nice to see that XM's brought back this large base statue look and I'm very happy about that. One thing I like about the statue is that these blades, I think they are actually uh, made out of real metal and the smaller one and the right one both uh, they do have some weight to them and they they're not just like some thin kind of metal that you can feel that it is that it is done very solidly and looks they look great and they feel great and wow really done nicely I'm very happy about that uh, what XM's done here And that's the it's the same thing with this larger one and very solid feeling to it. So as I said and I think it's been a while since our last celebration and I would say this statue is definitely I mean uh, definitely a reason to celebrate. So let's celebrate. <laughs> Okay, so we've had time to celebrate and um, wow, I'm very much happy about the statue. So, I mean, as I said, this base is done phenomenally and I'm very happy about it. And if I really had anything to complain about this statue, it is, it might be maybe the inside of these pillars where, which are supposed to be made of wood. They have this little kind of glossy look which might not fit in, but it's something you're not really going to see unless you look in at it closely. But the text, I mean the paint job on this base and the rest of the statue is just phenomenally. And all the textures and designs on his trousers and the inside of his jacket all have these different textures and designs of gold and purple wow it's just so much detail and looks beautiful and you can see XM Studios has put in a lot of effort and you can see that the effort was really worth the job and that's why I would say I mean this statue for me is almost a 10 out of 10 and um, well done and I really can't really find anything to complain about the statue. It's pretty much 10 out of 10 for me, for sure. Uh, all I can say now is um, I hope you enjoyed today's uh, unboxing and review and God bless you, God bless our statues and have a nice day. I'm so what you
يالو دم هي دك نوتك هندت فكر رشالو يا ساي شالو دم هي 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 دم I'm not 